Hi guys, so now I am in the freaking cold weather of Ningbo, China. Right there behind the camera, uh, which I'm not supposed to show on video, is the uh, Geely transmission plant where they are making the 7 speed dual clutch transmission and own in house transmission that, um, that will soon be introduced with the Proton X70. So uh, I'm not supposed to show you footage of what's, uh, what's in there and uh, I'll be heading in soon so our, our agenda today is we'll be touring the plant um, after the after when uh, after when I'm out perhaps uh, I'll then I'll catch up with you guys again tell you what I've seen but the most important uh, agenda of our visit today is that we will get a chance to test drive the X70 of the Boye the GB Boye fitted with the new DCT so keep watching all right so i just came out from the factory uh is it anything groundbreaking does it does it wow me no it does not uh i've been to a few factories before this is uh nothing specifically new to me but no uh no doubts about it it is a well-oiled machine it is very well run all right everything is well organized um and this plant, okay, uh, is what I, the building that I, I visited, this one here. This is phase two. This is the phase two building. There's also a phase one building. This whole complex is dedicated to manufacture the seven speed DCT by Geely. The whole, the, the, this year, 2020, it's the, the, this whole complex is targeted to manufacture 600,000 units of the 7-speed DCT and in-house transmission. It's time to board the bus. I'll catch up with you guys again. Okay, so we are about to proceed to the next round of our agenda. But let me just show you what we have here. This is um, this is a mock-up of the 1.8-liter turbo direct injection engine uh, paired with the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. So this combo here uh, will be featured, will be used in the locally assembled Proton X70. So this engine here, the 1.8 liter engine, this is said to be a third generation evolution from the second generation engine that we currently get in Malaysia with the CBU X70. All right, so our most notable change is that the torque has been increased from 285 Newton meters in the uh, in the CBU car with a six-speed automatic to 300 Newton meters. So therefore, uh, in, in this segment, the X70 now has the highest torque uh, amongst mid-size SUVs after the Mazda CX-5 2.5 liter turbo. But that one, 2.5 turbo, highly boosted, different story altogether. Cannot compare. Lah. But if you were to compare it with the Tiguan, the 3008 with the CRV turbo, uh, the, the, this, this new power plant eclipses those figures comfortably. And the pairing with the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission means that fuel efficiency has been improved. Um, what do you call that? 0 to 100 kilometers per hour timing has improved. The specifics of it, the, the exact technical specifics of it, um, I'm, going to pub, I'm going to lay them all out uh, on evomalaysia.com. So do have a read there. Okay, let me just show you up close um, some interesting details of so here you see this is the end this is a, this is the mock-up of the engine it's uh it's moving it's a it's a moving mock-up all right um see up so you see here it runs on timing chain so here's the turbocharger it's the turbocharger the transmission seven speed dual clutch transmission here this is a shift by wire transmission um in this guys this transmission is actually rated for uh, 330 Newton meters of torque and Geely claims that uh, the efficiency the overall the efficiency of this transmission um, overall efficiency is about 94% transmission of power and uh, maximum goes up to 97% so the power loss all right of this transmission between engine and wheel uh, Geely claims it's actually comparable with that of a wet, oh, sorry, of a dry DCT. All right. Um, yep, so that's uh, that's that's pretty impressive. It's significantly lower, therefore, than uh, than the 
wet clutch equivalents, other wet clutch equivalents in the market. So a lot of consumers right now are probably concerned perhaps at, uh, at questions of reliability because uh, we all know that the Volkswagen DSGs, the Ford power shifts of all their reliability issues over the years, Malaysian consumers are naturally skeptical on DCTs, on the reliability of DCTs. Um, well, to be honest, these are the kind of things I can't answer you today, but it's something that we have to wait and see over the next five years. How, when, the, when you know, enough numbers of these cars hit the road, how do, they, do, do users complain of the reliability, of the, of the usability of these, of these transmissions? Um, based on the technical presentation that I've seen, Right, which um, which I'll lay out in further detail on, on the pages of evilmalaysia.com but uh, I can I can see that they have done their homework. Right, they have they have done their their durability testing and uh, to, to in order to make sure as much as possible that uh, this transmission will be as reliable as they come. Now, one interesting factoid that I will I do want to share with you is that. Um, so this 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 transmission is uh is is, is a wet clutch transmission. So Gili explains the benefits of it is that you get a smoother takeoff from standstill. Uh, not comp not yet not as smooth as a torque converter gearbox, but definitely smoother than the dry clutch transmission. Uh, you get better management of the heat inside the transmission. So the fluids, all right. Uh, this transmission op runs on a proprietary proprietary uh, DCT fluid, and. Um, yeah, and it's and it and it it is run through a dedicated oil cooler to ensure uh, a good control of the of the transmission fluid temperature, and uh, the recommended transmission intervals from Geely is uh, is that the the depending on usage, Geely recommends about eighty to one hundred thousand intervals to change the transmission fluid, but. Uh, somebody, but Proton representatives that came with me in this on this trip told me that uh, for Malaysia they are going to implement sixty thousand ch uh, kilometer change intervals. So uh, they have definitely done their part to and to try to make this transmission as reliable as they come. But uh, of course, at the end of the day, the final, the final. Uh, verdict will always come from the consumer. It's always a matter of time. We need to wait and see uh, when these things actually hit the road. How will they actually perform? What I can tell you now is, they have done. They have. They. They seem to have done their homework. They seem to have done whatever they, uh, as much homework as they they can reasonably be expected to. Uh, yeah. Now it's just a matter of uh, seeing it being proven on the road. Okay, guys. So here we have. This is a mock up of the whole um, manufacturing complex that we are in. So earlier today, earlier just now in the video, I was here. This is where the 7-speed DCT plant is. And now we have moved across the street to that building. And uh, yeah, so just now they, they explained to us that this all this, this is the manufacturing complex, various uh, manufacturing buildings, um, paint shop, body shop, all that. Uh, final assembly shop. This uh, rest uh, workers' residence. This here is uh, is a river. This is the river, and this is the test track for uh, completed production cars. Where after which you know they they they've done testing. That's the storage area. This is all. This is the this area is where all the suppliers are based. And yeah, so here we have it. This is the uh, Gili manufacturing facility here uh, in uh, Chun Xiao, they call it. Okay guys, so here is we, here we are at the test facility. It's not really a test facility, it's just a straight road. Alright, and uh, what we have here is that we have the Geely Boye Pro here. This is with the one point. It's the same uh, 1.8 liter uh, engine combined with the 7-speed DCT. Over there, that is a Mercedes GLA 200, which, uh, which has been brought here for benchmarking purposes. So we are going to drive these two cars back to back to give us, uh, so that we can compare uh, between this, the, the sensation, you know, this, this whole DCT setup versus what Mercedes there has to offer. So uh, from what it looks like to me, it looks like a very brief, Right, test drive. So don't expect any, uh, any, well, in-depth 
conclusions to be drawn from this video. Okay, hi guys. So we've got Yishen here in the back seat. We are driving Hello. the uh, Boye Pro. So uh, how uh, we've got uh, yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> stuff right hi. next to me, but uh, my camera angle is not wide enough. Hello. Hello, <laughs> sir. Your name is? Uh, Wen Jian Zhao. Uh, Wen Jian Zhao. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm responsible for this transmission. Yeah. Ah, You're nice. responsible for this transmission. Nice. Okay. I think I better try and adjust the angle. And okay, so we can see you there. Okay, so well, I go straight, ah. Huh? Yes, it's a launch. You you ask in the. Oh yeah. In the... Oh yeah, that's right. So, uh, question a lot of people ask about you know DCTs is how's the launch characteristics. So right now I'm release. I gradually release the brake. Now there is a very very minor judder. All right, as I took off, but it is so minor that it is barely perceptible and. Uh, Compared to other DCTs in the market, definitely better off. Okay, and um, so we go there. Yeah, okay, so we go straight. We're going to open the sunroof so we're more light into the cabin. Yeah, yes. not a bad idea. Says how long the car will be marked with money you if turned off. Okay. Come on. Okay. So how? So we, we can start first. Okay. So they will after us. Just go straight. All right. So the takeoff, uh, quite smooth, very very slight, uh, hint of a. I can't even use the term shake, but you know it's like, zzz, but basically not there. And uh, yep. So right now the shifting feels quite smooth. Okay, so Alright. Okay. Stop. And how? Turn. You turn. Yeah. Alright. Can I accelerate a bit harder? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you have China license, we can have chance, but uh, you know, there's a. Uh, okay. No. But uh, I think it's for DCT, the most uh, um, yeah. uh, key area is the low speed. Low but speed. If, if you high speed, it's uh, almost uh, the same. Yeah. Still same. And it's uh, yeah. The low speed smoothness definitely is better than all the dry clutch transmissions out there. Yeah, overall pretty smooth. The, the uh, refinement of this car on the move. It's good. So do I now hand over the car to Yishen? Okay. No, right? Time. Is it now it's just time to change really, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's right over there. Shift by wire the take a gun. So Yishen of Autobus is well having his turn. Oh. This is Jili Boye Pro. Really, it can, it's quite smooth. It does feel like a double clutch transmission. Ah, uh, it feels like a double clutch transmission. Ah, it feels like a double clutch transmission. Ah, it 好，我们现在来做一个 U 灯，我会啊、呃、加速加的稍微重脚一点 ，I'll be accelerating harder now just to see the acceleration。哇！啊 ！Come on car！ 哦，真的是很顺畅哦。Very smooth, very smooth, very smooth, very 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 smooth changes uh, as uh, imperceptible gear changes, as Con would have put it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, say imperceptible, but you really have to um, be looking for it in order it. to feel feel the difference. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this concludes our very short test drive. Very very short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, after this, we'll be jumping over to uh, the GLA. Alright guys, so here's the uh, Boyue Pro that we've just vacated and now we shall jump into this Mercedes GLA 200 uh, 
for a comparative drive. Now in the GLA and immediate first impressions before you even drive, this car does not feel as luxurious as the Geely Boyer the Pro. Boyer Pro. <laughs> Uh, taking off. I knock my head getting into this film. Yeah, I mean the space part is is, is one thing lah. The build quality, the selection of materials, uh, the the Geely actually feels more luxurious. Okay, I honestly, honestly, I can't tell the difference taking off yet. The right, the right quality, um, is harsher than the than the Geely. Search, but this don't forget. This is a lighter car than the Boye Pro, I believe. Okay, so uh, the turning circle also is uh, is a lot tighter. Wait, let me just bring this car to a stop again. Okay, when I come to a full stop, right? Let me just try the creeping. Actually, this one judders less. Eh? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> this one judders less. Uh, the, the surge of acceleration. Okay, this engine is rougher than the. It, it does not feel as refined as the Geely's one. But that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so overall impressions, the Boyer Pro definitely feels like a better car, but whether the DCT is a better transmission, I can't tell from this test drive. Before Yishen's turn now. Definitely very snug. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, right. Then the parking brake is... Where's the parking brake? Uh, I think you just step on the pedal, yeah. it will go, yeah. Okay, yeah. so the point of this uh, of this test drive is to test out the juddering issue of most DCT has. Most DCT have, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, to be honest, I can't really feel the juddering difference, but the smoothness is definitely there. I think the, 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 the shift pattern yep. is, is definitely the, the one in the foyer is much smoother. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, I felt a jerk. Yep. I mean in the in the shift pattern. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not the person. Okay. Now, the ride is also a lot busier, man. Yeah, yeah. But ride is not the uh, It's not the objective of our it's test, not yes. The, of, of but overall time. I think the Boyer feels like a more expensive car law. The you... Boyer yes, yes, that's for sure. 好,現在我們要試的當然這個試車的當然就是要試這個雙離合變速箱在起步的時候有沒有那個震動啊 这个可以感觉到有一点粗糙吧，对吧？是。好，呃，由于是有一些限制，我们也不能真正在马路上真正式的这这个变速箱的顺畅程度。可是当这个这个款型在马来西亚发布的时候呢，我们会为大家带来更
But uh, the Geely engineer that we spoke to earlier, he himself admitted that there is no way that this transmission will match the uh, takeoff refinement of a torque converter. No way. But uh, if you were to compare a dry clutch, if you were to compare this against a dry clutch transmission, then yes, that is it is a significant, uh, significant betterment. Okay, so um, yep. So the initial impressions of this seven-speed DCT, uh, well, nothing negative to say thus far. So it's just really a question of it proving its reliability in the long term. So as I film this, uh, there is no specific indication of when uh, the the X70 CKD will launch, all right? Uh, but right now we can confirm at least that the X70 CKD will retain the 1.8 liter engine in an improved form, in an improved form now with 300 newton meters of torque paired with the seven speed dual clutch transmission.